This is the PWA Crossing the Finish Line podcast series for people who want to be as successful as possible in their careers. The topic of this podcast is managing your boss effectively. First of all, I think it's important that you think of your boss as your number one customer. While your external customers or even your other internal customers are important, they do not have the same ability to impact your career as your manager. Most successful executives treat their bosses as their number one customer. Now, I'm not saying you have to be best friends with your boss, and I'm not even sure I would recommend that, but you do need to have a respectful, cordial relationship, and I would emphasize relationship with your manager. It's important to make your manager look good. If you make your boss successful, the way the game is played is you should be amply rewarded. Whether your boss likes you or not, he or she will not be able to resist someone who dedicates themselves to making the boss look good. Making the boss look good means working on things that are priorities and important for your boss. Making sure that your goals are completely aligned with your boss's goals. Speaking of goals, we want to make sure that we set up our goals at the beginning of the year such that they support our boss's goals at least 75% of the time. That means that 75% of the assignments and projects on which you work are directly related to your boss's goals. And then at the end of the year, we want to make sure we make it as easy as possible for our bosses to write a good, positive performance appraisal for us. That means if we want to get the highest possible rating, we need to make it easy for our bosses to remember the results and accomplishments we had throughout the year. Remember, at the end of the year, most bosses find themselves opening a folder with your name on it and having very little data and very few notes with which to work. If you write a really good, strong self-appraisal and give it to your boss, you're much more likely to have an outstanding performance appraisal. Finally, I'd like you to figure out how to become a member of your boss's kitchen cabinet. Now, your boss's kitchen cabinet is made up of people he would consider his go-to people. These are people your boss trusts and knows will get the job done and make him look good. These are also the first people she will reward with recognition, promotions, and developmental opportunities. You will recognize your boss's kitchen cabinet because they are the people who have regular and easy access to him or her. Your goal is to become a valuable member of your boss's kitchen cabinet. I've just described the importance of managing your boss and making your boss your number one customer. If you keep this information in mind, you will be well on your way to crossing the finish line. Thank you.